Welcome to learn instrumentation engineering. So in this YouTube channel, we are learning a lot of basic instrumentation and control systems that includes process measurement of devices and its applications, uh, control system techniques, latest updates and upgrades which is happening in and around industrial instrumentation globally. So if you are a budding instrument student or a budding instrument engineer or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation engineer, do watch our channel and subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and I am sure I provide a lot of value addition. In this video, we are going to learn about the different aspects and features of uh, linear and rotary type of control wall. So let's get into this video. This is basically the control wall uh, diagram which represents the uh, linear motion. So the, you could see over here, this is an example of a, a globe wall, uh, which is a single seater, right? And you could see over here, the flow uh, moves from upstream to downstream. That is, the inlet is towards the upwards and outlets towards the downwards. Okay, so this control wall, which is having a linear type of motion, is basically used in tortuous flow path. See, basically in a process industry, we have a different piping arrangements. Some piping that gets into a bend. Sometimes the piping gets into a head of elevation, and. Uh, if you want to have a throttling services in that particular torturous flow path, a linear type of wall is the best suited type of wall, right? And next is that it has low pressure recovery. So if you are having a process flow with some pressure, the recovery would be very, very less. And next is it can throttle even a smaller flow rates from 0 to 10 meter cube or 0 to 20 meter cube or even 0 to 100 um, meter cube per hour so the basic uh, feature of a, a linear type control wall is that it offers very small flow rates to medium and high flow rates so that is a throttling capacity of your linear type control wall and next is that it offers a variety of special trim designs we all know that the trim is the vector port of a process flow that gets contact into the control wall body. So the plug seat arrangement, seat ring, uh, the internals of a wall body. So uh, we can have a different special trim designs and that is going to help or that is going to aid the uh, throttling services of the process parameters. So that's the main advantages of this linear type of control wall. Is this type of linear type control wall is best suited to high pressure applications. So if you're uh, in a process industry, if you're having very high pressure services and this linear type of control wall can give the best result, that's the best operating uh, results can be given only by this tribe. A linear type of control wall comes with flange or sometimes threaded. Uh, mostly it comes in a flange type and uh, the other uh, important uh, aspect of this linear type control wall is that it has a separate uh, bonnet the bonnet can be easily separatable it can be easily dismantled and fixed again that's a, a different uh, aspect of this linear type control wall so these are the basic features of this uh, linear type control wall and next we could see this uh, roti type wall features so you could see over here so it has a, a disc type of wall body and the motion is rotary in clockwise or anti-clockwise and it may be like 0 to 90 degree sometimes 0 to 120 degree and different types of angle rotations so this type of uh, rotary type wall features are mainly used for streamlined flow path for example if your process uh, fluid or process gas is steady and it has a constant flow rate constant pressure then the rotary wall type is the best suited wall for that particular piping okay and the main advantage of uh, this rotary wall feature is that it has a high pressure recovery. It has a high pressure recovery. The pressure loss is very, very low, right, compared to the linear type of walls. And next, it handles more capacity. More capacity in terms of more volume of fluid or more volume of gases. So if the pipeline is like 8 inch or 16 inch or 24 inch, or it has to handle a more volume of a process fluid or gas in a, a limited time then this rotary wall is best suited for the particular piping and the importance of this rotary type wall like 
uh, it, uh, the importance of the rotary wall type for instrument maintenance engineer is that it has less packing wear so the maintenance or approach the maintenance strategy is very very less over this rotary type of walls as compared to the linear control valve right and uh, uh, the rotary wall type uh, wall features is that it can handle more slurries and abrasives uh, because this rotary type wall has a disc or some a wall body and that can easily handle the slurries and any chemical uh, abrasive uh, process fluids basically the rotary wall uh, comes with flange flangeless right and the bonnet is not uh, easily separable as like a linear type uh, whereas uh, in rotary type walls we have an integral bonnet that's uh, the bonnet is an integral part of the wall body and uh, the final thing is it has high rangeability so that's a very good feature of this rotary wall so these are the best uh, features and aspects of uh, the linear and rotary type walls. Uh, so in this video, you had a very good understanding and idea on different aspects and features of linear and rotary uh, control walls. So if this video was very useful to you, just hit the like button and uh, share to instrument community. And if you want to watch such instrumentation videos, please subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.